Why does it aquamimicry works? Okay, the main reason is because, as you can see, aquamimicry is, is a concept that strives to stimulate the natural estuarine conditions. You must understand, in brackish or estuarine environment, the productivity level of nutrients are very good. Whenever we created a natural substance or a natural environment for the plankton, plankton will definitely grow. Why aqua mimicry improve the production of plankton in the tanks is because it improves the feeding behavior, it improves the biological control, it also increases the stimulatory response. Based on these three theory part from my side that actually match what Jim, uh, Mr. Jimmy and Mr. V is doing. So the only obstacle is finding the right concentration of the solution for your ponds or, or for your tanks. Solution means how much uh, rice bran you want to put, how much concentration of, of uh, probiotics you want to put. How much you want to put that you will ensure that the population of bacteria is in the in the is in the uh, stages where it's is being normalized by all the environmental factor. What are the uh, levels that is acceptable by the plankton populations? That is where you need to know how to count the density of your plankton so that you can multiply with the volume of your tank water or your pond. For you to have a rough estimation. Okay. Why we have an when you culture uh, aquamimicry, you will have zooplankton blooms, right? Because first fermented rice bran will stimulate a good feeding behavior. St stimulatory response also are increased, and then you create an environment where the bacteria load is is, is kept at a very uh, optimized level. So due to these three factors are the one why we think that aquamimicry is another approach that everyone should venture into. From my opinion, aquamimicry is something that improves the overall environment for, for, for zooplankton to bloom, especially copepods. Because copepods is a complex tiny crustacean and due to its complex tiny crustacean, it actually uh, have a lot of good fatty acids embedded in its body and if we use them as the subject of interest for this aqua mimicry approach we can definitely have a better and stable food for your shrimp or for your fish as well as creating a suitable environment for your fish and shrimp larvae but for us to merge into this direction everyone have to try okay so why aquamimicry is important? Because we don't need antibiotics, we don't need any chemicals. Mm -hmm. We are using fermented carbon sources such as rice bran. Rice bran is high in carbon. NPC levels are very high in rice bran. And then rice bran provide good nutrition to the zooplankton and bacteria because it created a very stable symbiotic environment in the ponds or in the tanks. Okay? because of fermentation as well as the zooplankton content. So when it created a symbiotic environment, it actually become the dietary supplement <coughs> and synergistically improve the correlation between probiotics and food. <coughs> so that is where you have a very stable environment for your shrimp or for your crusta other crustaceans such as crabs for them to live happily with a good food. Okay? So, coffee pots is a supplemental nutrition because coffee pots, like I said, their superior value is because they have high nutritional value, high digestibility, the movement patterns are zigzag. So, when the movement patterns are zigzag, it can easily attract the fish. It has a lot of superior qualities. So why are we still relying 100% on Artemia? If you have substitutions of coffee pots, it might take a hassle at first to culture and everything. But once if you have 
a consistency of of the mass production of this copy pot you will have it for a long time okay so okay why fermentation is good because fermentation of carbon food sources will make uh, certain digestive enzymes become uh, available and <coughs> it will also induce by several probiotic which will create a stable environment okay if you put low stack, uh, stocking density and chain dragging definitely you will have a better stable of fermentation for your aqua feed so when you have your um, fermented rice bran you no longer need pellets if you need them, it's not in a high amount anymore. So meaning it's like it's like reducing cost as well, and also having a mixed diet, which will help you in utilizing most resources that you have in your hatcheries. The reason why fermentation is good is because it it actually decreases the feed conversion ratio, minimize water exchange because you don't need to exchange water a lot of times. Okay, and then it also will eliminate certain disease. So that is why aqua mimicry is another direction for us to merge into. So this is some of the formula that I know for, for the fermentation of rice bran. Okay, so this is what we have. This is what I have uh, in my in my lab. Some of it it becomes this way. So maybe because mine is quite thick. Yeah, but I love the one that yesterday is not as thick as this. But it's just I cannot taste it because I, I'm afraid I will die after I taste it, yeah. But uh, what I can tell you that uh, unfermented rice bran and fermented rice bran, we already conducted certain nutritional composition. You can sense that the fiber, the protein of fermented rice bran is higher when compared to unfermented rice bran. So, so this shows that the protein and the fiber, the fat, the ash, the carbohydrate, because we did approximate analysis. So the proximate analysis clearly tells you that the essential nutritional composition of protein, carbohydrate, fat are improved when we fed them with fermented rice bran, which is good. This is not, um, this is a living <coughs> proof. This is a data. Okay, so why do you want to not use uh, fermented rice bran anymore? This is clearly a good option of nutritional compositions. Okay, so Okay, so that's all from me. <laughs> so I will give you, this is my, uh, I will send you, I will need everyone's phone number. I want to keep in touch with everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Okay, no problem. I'm so happy.